All right, this is Project 53 Swap the Corvette. This will be video number two. Uh, this is actually a reshoot. I shot this video the other night. My uh, neighbor came in and promptly shit on himself, and I, I didn't get the whole thing on on camera. Otherwise, I would absolutely share that uh, because why not? And that's that's great stuff. Anyway, I alluded in the first video to uh, some of the decisions that were made and didn't really talk about why they were made and what they were made for and all that. And plus, we got a little bit of a progress update here. Um, one of the things I touched on in the first video was I wasn't sure if the uh, clutch that we got would fit the bell housing for the T10. And uh, after checking that out, it turns out it would not. So we ended up with a Lakewood bell housing. Um because it has some bolts on the side figured it'd probably be a little bit quicker and easier to fabricate a bracket for the uh, clutch clutch slave cylinder there um, maybe i'm wrong it's uh, not significantly more expensive than the 621 big block chevy bell housing which is pretty much what it is uh, with some additional features maybe i don't know maybe there's no additional features except for the two bolt holes and the boss on the side but uh, you can see pretty dramatic difference there, along with the dirty shoe. Um, I haven't test fit that yet, but it was close before, so that should that should be pretty good. Uh, I did finally get our oil pan in. I got the cam in. I got the new lifters and the trays in. That's all wrapped up right now. I'm not going to uncover that. Unfortunately, the truck windage tray did not fit with the uh, eBay oil pan. But other than that, the oil pan looks pretty nice. So we're just going to let it ride. Um, cleaned up. Cleaned up the cylinder heads earlier, nothing special. Uh, hit them with some Alumabrite, the pressure washer. Got most of the carbon out of the ports. Uh, but that wasn't really the goal of the exercise. That actually turned out real nice. They looked really good for the 15 minutes worth of work or whatever that I put into them. The uh, valley cover and the valve covers, not, not quite as good. The uh, pressure washer wanted to blow them down the driveway rather than, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, rather than clean them off so they they uh, didn't get quite get quite as done okay so decisions decisions for this project um one of the stated goals of this project by the owner which is not me uh, is that he wanted something that would be fairly reliable that he could count on that he wouldn't have to work on on the side of the road so that drove some of the choices that we made uh we got new accessories rather than going to the junkyard and getting secondhand stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I've done it before. I'll probably do it again in the future. Um, but you know, it's nice to have a warranty. It's nice to have new stuff. Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not bad out of the box because I've had that problem too. Uh, we did not go with a stock ECU. We went with a Holly Terminator. Uh, I did not have a verified good ECU, nor did I have a wiring harness. And by the time you procure those things and even if you go to the junkyard and get a $100 ECU and wiring harness, the amount of time spent repinning that guy and doing everything else, it was just uh, easier easier and faster to go with the Holly. Plus, he might decide to go in the future uh, forced induction. But I'm not a big fan of uh, Gen 3 forced induction tuning. I've, I've done it. It's not impossible, and I know plenty, plenty of people have great success with it. I'm not, not trying to start an argument. But uh, the, the kind of hackery that goes into keeping things on the map, so to speak, is aggravating and time-consuming and seems to me to be a little bit inconsistent. Plus, we get some fail-safes, boost, boost cut, things like that with the uh, Holly that you don't get with the stock ECU, and that, that seemed to make a little bit more sense. Uh, cam is a, a Stage 1 Summit Turbo Cam. We got the kit that came with the springs and all the other cool stuff. Um... I watched Richard's video on versus the, the stage one versus the stage two, and we almost went with the uh, sloppy best cam, actually. I was looking at that. Kind of wanted to play with that, but uh, after the numbers came out, I mean, it looked really good, not going to lie. I kind of do want to play with one, but um, by the time the numbers came out, they were unobtainium, so we went with the uh, summit cam. Heard a lot of good stuff about it. Looking forward to using it. I uh, think it should should work out all right. The stage one uh, made a little bit more low end and didn't seem to give up much up top. Not that that's a big deal with the uh, LS1 intake that we've got right now. It's not going to do anything out the top hardly anyway. Um, so that'll that'll be cool. Uh, that that'll probably be a one of the first upgrades for power <laughs> going forward <laughs> if if it's a problem. 
Uh, other than that, uh, we got uh, Z ZL1 exhaust manifolds off of a LT LT series ZL1. They're pretty nice, pretty nice little piece. Um, the ports are obviously way bigger than what you'll find on the uh, cathedral port head. Nice, nice, you know, semi-fabricated. Looks like a tri y setup, so that's kind of cool. Uh, two and a half inch uh, flange. Well, there's no flange on it. Two and a half inch outlet there. We're going to weld some V. Well, I'll weld some V bands on it to attach to the rest of the exhaust when that time comes. That I think brings everything up to date. This weekend should be a good work weekend. Hopefully, we'll have the engine fully assembled. Um, that'll allow me to clean off the uh, nuts and bolts and miscellaneous things over here. And then uh, I think we're going to take a quick look at the um, transmission, specifically the overdrive. The uh, oil that came out of that did not look like transmission fluid. It looked like looked like hell. Um, didn't smell like transmission fluid. It almost looked like gear oil. So hopefully that's not burn up. Uh, if it is, we're going to have to address that. That'll put a little bit of a delay on this project, but not, not us starting it up. So there is that. Anyway, uh, I think that's that's it. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, we'll have some better better video and action video and some cooler looking stuff than you know, random boxes, shit on the floor, and you know, silver tape on the firewall there. <laughs>